Hi everyone, this is Sagar Shah and I'm right now at the Chessbase India office here in Mumbai and what we have here is a very well arranged sort of a bookshelf where we have the new books that have arrived. The books came a few days ago but I was in Isle of Man and then there were several things happening so finally today I found the time to record this video and I'm not sure from where to begin. But I think I know where exactly because this is the biggest book we have in our shop. It is A Matter of Endgame Technique by Jakob Agard and it is 896 pages. So uh, it is about all about endgames. So if you look at it, we have endgame elements uh, and then we have lack of technique, fortresses, advanced examples, rook versus bishop, exchanges and so on. And I know for a fact that Jakob worked really hard to make this book happen. And I think very few copies are left in our shop, uh, but maybe we'll reorder them very soon because a lot of people have loved this book. Uh, we have this book which has done very well. A lot of people let me put chess by Gotham Chess and this one is for all the beginners out there who want to get better at chess. Levy's book has uh, sold many many copies across the world and we are selling it at Chess Base India. Uh, and of course for all the young kids out there Chess Pine Chess Adventure Park has been there since a year now where you can learn chess through very beautiful cartoons and uh, Chespa takes you into this beautiful world of chess adventure park. So this is a great way to introduce your kids to chess. And in order to build on it, we have now the Chespa activity books, which have gone to the print, but here's one copy we have. And these are all the activities that they can do, like coloring the pieces or circling them and so on. So there are three, three volumes of this which we have launched. Coming to one of the best sellers in our shop, it is uh, the Yusupov series of Build Up Your Chess, Boost Your Chess and Chess Evolution. We had paperbacks, but now we also have hard copies here in our shop. So you can go and get them. If you are looking out for them, they were out of stock for quite a long time. Uh, also, we have Jakob Agard series on calculation, strategic play, endgame play, positional play. These are all the books which have done really well uh, in the past thinking inside the box, attack and defense. So you can check them out. And Boris Gelfand's books, four books written by him, major piece endings, Dynamic decision making, these are the latest one, but before that we had positional decision making and technical decision making. So we have four books by Boris Gelfand, which you can get them uh, very likely to be out of stock very soon. Uh, this is a new book we have in our shop. It's Korchnoi and his chess grandchildren, which uh, the name is quite obvious that it has games of Korchnoi when he faced young talents in the world. It's written by Barsky and it has, let's say for example, uh, a very nice picture of Korchnoi playing table tennis here and then his games against some of the young talents like you can see here, uh, Magnus uh, and also if you go through the book, you will see when he played against Grishchuk, Swiddler, Gelfand, I mean Pono Mario, very nice uh, games which kind of give you this battle of generations which exists in chess and Korchnoi is one of those players who had one of the longest careers in chess, he was active way beyond 80 years of age so this book will give you ideas of that. We have the Woodpecker Method, <laughs> the book which everyone loves, 1100 positions in this uh, from the games of different world champions, Mislo, Botwinik, Uwe, Alekhine, Lasker, and so very good for solving and improving your tactical play. 
Python strategy by Tigran Petrosian. If you want to improve your positional play, then no one better than the great Tigran. Uh, here's one more book that we have got recently, which is Learn from Bent Larson by Mihail Marin. Larson is one of the most uh, creative players. If you know the Nimzo Larson attack, or you know, you start with one B3. All of this are by Larson, and so uh, a boundless optimist, initiative and accuracy. Larson's hypermodern approach, advancing the rook pawns, end games the Larson way. Very nice book here by Mihail Marin. Um, we also have my system by Nimzovich. We had it in paperback. Now we also have it in hardcover. So all these books are available now in hardcover. Uh, Chessable puts out many wonderful video courses, but those same video courses are also converted into books. Like for example, Anish Giri, uh, his Sicilian Dragon video course is now converted into a book. And they have this very colorful format of having their books. So maybe you can get them. Uh, it's a very nice way to learn. We have also, uh, oh, this is New in Chess, the battles of Hastings, stories and games of the oldest chess tournament in the world, which is so wonderful. Uh, you have very nice pictures inside it, analysis. So for all the uh, historical buffs out there, this book might be very cool. And from Chessable, we have the Checkmate Patterns Manual. We have a book by Judith Polgar, which is quite big here. Uh, Judith Polgar, Master Your Chess with Judith. And I think this would also be very cool for you to learn from one of the greatest players in the history of chess. Uh, keep it simple for Black, a solid and straightforward opening repertoire by Christoph Silecki. I think his videos have done very well in general and I'm sure the book is also of a very good quality. Uh, you have Axel Smith who had written Street Smart Chess before but now Axel has come up with a new book and the book is Black and White Magic Color Complexes in Chess Explained. So if you want to play on light colored squares or dark colored squares this is a good book to check. Uh, another book which I think would be greatly interesting for everyone is Sam Shanklin's calculation. Uh, it has 300 positions and they stem out from a training session. So you can see offers you a unique chance to participate in a training camp with super GM Sam Shanklin as he works through 300 problems set to him by his longtime trainer, which is Jakob Agar. So Sa Shanklin not only gives these positions, but also explains how he went in and solved them. So you would really learn a lot from his way of uh, thinking. We also have How I Became a Grandmaster by Vinay Bhatt. I actually interviewed him on Chess Base India. Very nice story of how Vinay uh, went on to become a GM. And of course, this is one of my favorite books. It's now in paperback. Earlier we had it only in hard copy. Think like a super GM. It's one position is given to players of differing levels to see how they think. And then eventually you have Michael Adams who explains his thought process. So if you are like at a level of let's say beginner or you are at 2000 or 2200 or 2400, you will learn a lot from this book, uh, especially as to how different levels of players think in different positions. Ooh, then we have the Grandmaster opening repertoire series. If we can have it here, you know, I'm not going to take it out, but Kings Indian, Cotronias on Kings Indian, we have all the books. So if anyone is a Kings Indian fan from Black, this might be the books you want to get covering Fian Sheto, Mar del Plata, Classical, Zamish. We also have Benoni by Petrov, Marian Petrov, uh, and also, yeah, here you have Gawain Jones on Kings Indian. The, so basically, if you if you want to learn King's Indian, we have a lot of things for you. We also have Dutch sidelines. I think this is a new one which has come in by Mihail Marin. So in case if you are a Dutch player, you might want to explore this. A huge book here is by Fischer Spassky, 1972, Match of the Century Revisited. I always find it very exciting when old matches with high quality chess games 
are analyzed with modern engines and then we see what are the new findings from those games so i am actually very interested to check out this game uh, especially you know some famous games like game 6 i want to see what uh, caroli has found there is also another book here which is coffee house repertoire 1 e4 volume 1 and volume 2 We all know Gawain Jones is known for his aggressive style of chess, and so if you are interested in having some different kinds of opening, like e4 is our opening move. We will focus mainly mainly on Sicilian here, and he says he will go to knight c3. Uh, so very interesting uh, material here for against the Sicilian, and in volume two he has covered against e4, e5. and also against french advanced variation perk karo khan and so on so i think this book could be very interesting for all those who are one e4 players we have uh, michael royce's berlin defense as one more opening repertoire book in, in case you want a very solid weapon as black uh there is also some very interesting books here i think this book has been liked a lot by top players because sokolov really delves into the styles of players and magnus carlsen's middle game evolution is very well explained in this book so for all those who might play magnus at some point or want to learn from his games this is a very good book to to study from uh we also have analyzing the chess mind by gulko and joel sneed uh, it's actually very interesting because gulko is a very famous uh, grandmaster while joel sneed is an amateur so they both have together written the book and it always is nice when uh, the same book same concepts are written by players of two differing levels so as you can see here joel sneed is a professor of psychology at the city of university and a keen amateur chess player okay the world's most instructive amateur chess uh, amateur game book it's interesting dan heisman uh, has written many many articles before i think for chess cafe and at some point i had a friend uh, shardul gagre who is a grandmaster and he was reading a book on chess and it was written by him and there were many inter- instructive elements in there so here there are games that are shown but in that you can see there are a lot of advices given you can see there are boxes made each and every move is properly explained and these are games between two amateurs so properly explained so it's like you know games of amateur chess players explain and then uh advices given there okay we have a uh, think like a machine by noam manela and ziv zohar uh i think uh this is more to do with an en- uh, engine play in chess and uh some interesting games here we have a book by sam shankland on pawn play small steps to success there was first one also on this series Uh, small steps to giant improvement this is the second part which is small steps to success uh, and shanklin keeps coming out with good books on chess we have uh, advanced chess tactics by lev sakhes this is an old book but is doing well you know on different openings you have tactics uh, in benoni in hanging pawns in iqp positions and so on so that is there and we also have Levin Fish here, which is uh, a book on Gregory Levin Fish called Soviet Outcast, which gives you a historical backdrop of one of the great players of the past. Okay, going over here, Rosalimo for club players by Bologan. If you want a weapon with white, this can be a good idea. The chess pub quiz. If you want to improve your knowledge of chess in general, not chess. uh moves but just chess in general this is a good book the match of all time here by gudmundo thorer insen again another book on the fisher spassky match so we now have two good books here and this one has 
many more pictures and inside stories less of chess but more of storytelling here so for all those who want to know the stories behind the match this might be a very very good book to go for the most exciting games uh, chess games ever by steve giddens the experts choice in new in chess magazine so uh, very very exciting games i'm sure in this uh, you can actually check it out and learn a lot from them uh, there is herman gruten who has written chess end games for club players the essential skills for a forceful finale uh, and the topics which are covered in this book are fear of the end game elementary end games various techniques curious end game so if you want to get additional material on end game this is the one but for all those who are starting out and need a book to get into the end game zone i would highly recommend the silmans end game course that we have a very nice book and of course his how to reassess your chess is also here so these two books are fantastic of Jeremy Silman. We finally have a best games book on Boris Pasky, um, written by Bezgodov and Olyenkov. Uh, there are hardly any books on Spassky's best games, so I'm very, very glad that it's been written and you can get to know about this great player more in detail. Uh, Jeron Bosch was well known i believe for those uh, tricky openings that he wrote about and he says a complete guide to successful opening preparation you can check out this book um i'm sure that there are many gambits and new ideas in there the hidden laws of chess has been written by nick matman i haven't really checked this book yet so i'm i'm going to check it out and later on talk about it but just to show you the uh contents of it it has space advantage double pawns backward pawns isolani hanging pawns so it's be all about pawn structure mainly we have a opening series here by vojo uh, which is by hilton and ipolito vojo's weapon so uh, the great american gm wokovits Vuk uh, and you know he was well known as Wojo and he was very positional player uh, and his opening series very cool because you know I, I think I studied from it and he gives lines which you're playing generally for two results small edge for white and otherwise it's equal so if you are a player who loves positional chess maybe this is the book I really love this book amateur to IM lot of hidden stuff here now Jonathan Hawkins is a GM but he's written so many nice stuff in this about uh, end games that I already knew, like Rook Bishop versus Rook. But he's sort of cut them down beautifully to explain it to you. So do check this out. It will be a very nice book for you. A uh, book by Hikaru Nakamura's uh, stepdad, Sunil Veeramantri, very well known coach, author. He has written Best Lessons of a Chess Coach. And we finally have this book in our shop. So maybe you will enjoy it as well. Uh, and we have the Russian Endgame Handbook. So our repertoire of Endgame books is growing in the shop. We now have um, Silman's book. We have 100 Endgames You Must Know. Is it back in stock? 100 yes. Endgames You Must Know is there. Then we, Dorexki's Endgame Manual is currently out of stock, but we hope to get it. But now we are adding this and many more Endgame books. Uh, there's a swindler a book chess swindler by david smurd on how do you swindle your opponents in chess like you have a bad position how do you fool them and this is a good book by david smurd on uh, i think a book which anyone who's keen on computer chess and the learnings from it should get are these two this was the first book game changer and then they came up with the silicon road to chess improvement so check out these two books and you will love them uh, if you are keen on learning from the engines. You have Forcing Chess Moves, The Key to Better Calculation by Charles Hurton. Well, in general, forcing moves make chess calculation easier, but it also trains your chess calculation much better. So this might be a very good book to check out. And there you have the 100 Endgames You Must Know. There's a main book and there's also a workbook. So you can get both these books, they are back in stock. 
Uh, we also have here a few books. There is a longest game. This is the match of Kasparo Karpo. It was 48 games. Crazy match. Went over 6 months. Everything analyzed in this. We also have Endgame Strategy by Sherashevsky. Fantastic book uh, here. And uh, it's, it's kind of considered as one of the best books on Endgames. We have R.B. Ramesh's book on Improve Your Chess Calculation. If you want to not just have examples, but also some very, very deep analysis and then explanations. I think Ramesh does it the best. In fact, tomorrow uh, he finishes 15 years of his chess academy, chess gurukul. So, you know, this is a book which you should get. Um, we have How Ulf Beats Black. This is similar to the Vojo's Weapons that we just saw. Very interesting book, Positional Lines, suggested for sort of advanced club players. You have 1001 exercises here. Speed Demon, Dimitri Kryap. Cry Cryaquin, uh, Fascinating Games and Tragic Life of Grandmaster Vismanamen. I, I remember when in 1990s there used to be these Intel series where Anand, Ivanchu, Kasparo, Kramnik, everyone would play. There was Vismanamen who would play in there and actually played really well. Uh, there is Zlotnik's Treasure Trove, Enjoyable Chess Training for Amateurs from 1600 to 2200 and there is 1001 endgame exercises for beginners so and here is one book which i'm sure many of you would love tricks and tips in the chess openings by dean ippolito so maybe you can get some nice tricks in there uh, what are the early f pawn moves early queen moves attack on uncastled king and so on who i think we went through all the books maybe no these are left I'm going to go through that very quickly. In the zone is written here by uh, Cyrus Laknawala. It's those um, players who had this wonderful streaks like, you know, Karuana had in 2014 Sinkfield Cup. There was Pillsbury who had it in the Hastings tournament. And all these Magnus had it, Grenke Classic. All these streaks are well explained with the games here. Uh, how to study chess on your own workbook. This is... Exercises and training for 1800 to 2100. You have rock solid chess, Tivyako's unbeatable strategy on pawn structures. So, I mean, Tivyako was a fantastic open tournament player. He hardly used to lose games. I think he had a streak of over 100 games being unbeaten. Well, Abhimanyu Mishra, the youngest GM in the world, 12 years, 4 months, and 25 days. He has written a book himself. Nice book. In fact, I have myself contributed a small page here uh, talking about him because I have watched his journey very closely. And in fact, I have been following him even recently at the Isle of Man. There is uh, Mastering Positional Sacrifices by Marion Van Delft, a practical guide to a vital skill in chess. So if you are not good at sacrificing material positionally, this might be a book for you from Ukraine with love for chess. Um, when the war was going on, and I mean the war was in progress, um, the Ukrainian players a year ago came up with this book and it has a uh, very nice contribution by all the top Ukrainian players uh, and uh, yes, all the proceeds of this book I think sold go to charity, so it's a wonderful thing. And I really hope that our Ukrainian players are fine and that the, everything returns back to normal. Uh, Trompowski Attack and London System by Viktor Moskalenko. If you want these very well-known openings these days, which are very popular, check this out. Magnus Carlsen, Virtuoso, Endgame Virtuoso, Volume 2. There's also Volume 1 we have. This is Volume 2 by Car Caroli. Uh, and then we have Joel Benjamin who talks about the give and take of chess tactics here. And uh, yes, we saw through these books. Yeah, it's done. So many, many books in our shop. Close to 290 titles. I think we are closing in on 300 different titles in chess with a wide range of books. Right from beginners to sort of books which can be helpful to players of all levels. And um, 
yes getting the books from outside is never easy because you know they uh, the shipping cost is very high but we try to bring in books together this time i believe we got 7000 books is it right yeah 7000 books in the shop uh, so there's they are there they are uh, lying there so please do order them and so that uh, you know we are able to bring in more books at a regular pace um, for now this is sagarsha signing off i'll put the link to the shop in the description click from there and get it and if you have any questions please do let us know in the comment section below